So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video and with today's patch being a 1.07 patch, many, many things in this game have changed. I know a lot of old boon farms have been patched. Uh, I know many, many weapons have been buffed. Many have been nerfed. So much has changed, guys. But today I bring you what are still the best three working room farms in the game to make you super, super rich. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the three best all take place within the same area of the Mogwin Dynasty area, uh, southeast of the Silver River. Now there's two ways you can get down here. There's a white face file request line which starts off real early on uh, and there's also an end game method which sees you having to come up into the mountains up to the giants, this area here. Now I'll link a guide in the video description to both methods because for the benefit of the players who I believe will be watching this, I doubt there will be many new players. I don't want to waste people's time. So yes, if you're new to Elden Ring and want to know how you get down here, check out those guides down below. Okay, so the Palace Approach Ledge Road, the legendary rune farming hill. Yes, relic sword in hand, the uh, Elden Beast weapon still works absolute wonders guys absolute wonders now what i will say is and i made a video which i will again link in the video description you don't actually have to use the relic sword it's easily the best and most efficient but you don't actually have to use it there are other weapons in the game even incantations and spells which you can take out these enemies on this hill super super fast and earn millions of runes per hour now i'll link that video in the video description uh, check it out if you are looking for a weapon and you haven't completed the game yet to do this now it's as simple as guys, just run to the grace, as you know, sit down, stand back up, enemies reset, kill him, rinse and repeat. It is that simple guys, it is that simple. Now, obviously you want to have the gold scarab talisman on as well to earn those extra runes. Just do it, use what you can to make those runes guys, simple as that. Now there's also another method in the bird, shooting him up his ass and he runs off the map, earn you 13k every it's about every 10 seconds now for me this is here and there it isn't perfect as it used to be oh shit that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to aim i will cut that again but i'm guessing he still runs off the map that's what the hell rock let me try and actually get him here he's probably not going to shoot for that tree now i can actually stand here i'll get you bird don't think you can hide from me motherfucker okay no i won't get him <laughs> No, I'm not getting through that. Let me just reset. <laughs> Let me just reset. Now, what I usually did, and the method I used back, back, back before I actually started messing around with this, because uh, I know uh, from software actually tried to, I think they tried to actually edit is the way he, he moves, his his mechanics in that. Is that going to hit him? I'm a, such a fail. You can tell I've never done this. I'm such a fail. Aim for the C. So you run here. Aim for the sea. When he walks past, shoot him up his ass. Let's see. Will he run, run off the map? Oh, no, he's not. That's the way I used to do it. That was working last patch. That don't seem to be working now. Hmm. But I don't think they've patched this out of the game. I think you just have to use a different method. Let's just run over this way. A bit further here. Go on the edge of the cliff and try it from here. Oh, I heard him scream then. Oh no, it's not running off the map there either. So I've definitely changed it. And like I said, this ain't as efficient as it used to be. I actually hate doing this because it was just so damn uh, unpredictable. There's probably a better way of getting him down, but like I said, I actually don't. Well, there you go. It does fall off the map. But again, that's probably the best spot where I'm at right here then. And you can see 13k, you simply run, sit back down, stand back up. Rinse and repeat, but I ain't gonna waste your time trying to do that over and over. It does definitely still work, it still runs off the map, so that's pretty cool too. Again, that's 13k with just a gold scarab uh, talisman every literal 10 to 15 seconds. So, there's also another way, guys, you can earn probably 100k runes every two minutes, and this requires you to do no uh, fighting, no swinging, no shooting, nothing. Well, swinging your weapon, yes, but naturally against enemies. So you want to come to this grace point right here. Now, if you haven't got this grace point, you can always use your medallion, which actually got you here in the first place. If you did the white face via request line, which is 
this medallion right here, the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. Use this and it takes you more or less right by this grace point, as I'm sure most of you guys already know. Okay, so we need to actually go that way, but for the sake of the people who haven't got that grace point unlocked, you're going to have to come up here. And come over here, and you'll see the grace point is right there. Simple as that. Unlock it. Activate it. Sit down at it. Okay, so this is a glitch, a rune glitch, which requires you to be on your mount. So I'll pull that trusted stallion out and you want to come this side of the map. Don't jump off, just come this side. Now you want to jump on this tree, just like so. And from here, you want to jump around to your left, just like so. You will land here and you want to come this way and just come up there. And once you're up here, guys, just come a bit further on. I always go towards those pillars up there. I mean, I've tried jumping off here and I've always died. So yeah, don't worry about that. Let's come this way. Make your way this way a bit. And just like so. And from here, what you do is, I'm actually going to go up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go here. It's fine. You want to jump towards that pillar, but double jump on your horse with a weapon in hand. One, two, and then just swing your weapon. Just swing your weapon. You don't have to do it. You don't have to spam it. Just swing it once every two or three seconds. Keep doing this. And what's actually happening here, guys, is the swinging of your weapon cancels out that death animation, meaning you don't die. And what actually eventually happens is the map above you despawns. So the enemies standing on that map fall to their death. Well, you get all their runes. It is as simple as that. And now I am, like I said, I don't know if I said it earlier in the video, I am not playing. A new game plus this is still my first playthrough someone give me a good reason to start new game plus and i'll do it otherwise i'm staying on my first playthrough but yeah simply just swing away eventually you'll get a pop-up i think there's probably a couple of bursts of runes i mean it probably says i get like 10k but you'll see i get way over 100k here and this can happen a couple of times in regards to every single time you jump off uh in every instance i think it's like a minute of you actually having to do this yeah, it will pop up in a second guys and you see you get quite a decent chunk of runes. Come on, this ain't good for my old fingers though. There you go, there's one chunk. Craziness. And I'm sure you get another little chunk here as well somewhere after probably about another 20 seconds. Unless I'm mistaken. But either way, once you've done this, I'll have to swing for a couple more seconds just to see if I actually get that second. Um, but I'm, still, I'm sure you got two bursts here. I mean, I could be mistaken, but I'm sure you do. Well, you used to do it on the other side of this map, um, but they actually nerfed that. They patched it out of the game. They put invisible walls all over the place, so you weren't getting jack diddly squat. But yeah, I don't think, I think you just get that one burst of 100 plus K here. Then what you do from here, guys, is you simply just fast travel back to that grace point. It's as simple as that. Then you just run back to this point, jump off the map again, rinse and repeat, and it really is that simple guys those are the three best working room farms in this game as of right now now i will create another video of working room farms which don't require you to be in the mugwin dynasty area uh, but you won't earn anywhere near as you earn a decent amount but not as much as what you'll earn uh, here but guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of it be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one